What is up, everybody? It's Gamma Stale the way I'm here to bring you guys a new blog. Man, Kev the Love just got injured. He broke his hand. He's out for like six weeks, I think. Or some shit like that. Let me make sure. You know, I don't want to spread any fake news. So, hold on. Let me go to the news right here. Man. Six to eight weeks with a fractured left hand. Ah, oh, man. First things first. Um, the Cleveland Cavaliers are going to suffer from this on the offensive end. They're, now they're missing an extra three-point shooter. So, on the other end, defensively, they'll get better. But Isaiah Thompson is still there, so. The way I see it is Isaiah Thompson now doesn't have to worry about feeding Kevin Love at all. Now all he has to do is, yo, play the offense that I had in, you know, Boston. I'll run the offense. And now staggering LeBron's and IT's minutes should be easier. Because now you don't have to worry about, you know, Kevin Love and feeding him in the post and getting him shots. Now you don't have to worry about a third star that you have to feed consistently in order to get some sort of effort from him on defensive end. And this is not me trashing Kevin Love, but like him being injured, you know, is gonna remove all blame at this point. Because now it's gonna come down to, yo, hold on. So y'all was complaining about this guy. All right, now he's out for, out for like eight weeks. What y'all gonna do? Isaiah, what are you gonna do? How are you gonna play? Because you called him out. When you guys had the meeting, talk about how he missed time and he didn't need to. Well, now he's missing time. You're going to question the x-ray now? You're going to talk about, oh, he's fake, he broke his own hand? Isaiah Thomas had one of the best years of his life. And now he's running around calling himself a superstar. Isaiah Thomas is not getting a max deal. And it makes me sad... But at the same time, it's like a reality check for him. Man. I'd hate to be Isaiah Thomas right now. Even though he makes a hundred times more money than I do. He's in the worst position possible. For him to go from being beloved in Boston. You know, talking about getting max contract in January. Playing out of his mind. Getting MVP chance. And now... And then he went from there to like, to the playoffs, his sister passing away, and him playing despite of that, and then the summer comes around, with his hip injury, he goes out of his way and he helps recruit Gordon Hayward, and then after that they trade him away, and now he's in Cleveland, and he's you know, salty, throwing shade, talking about getting his video tribute and all the other drama. But he's not playing well. And that's the bottom line. Isaiah, you haven't played well since your injury. And it's all about you. You can talk about your injury all you want to. People are going to grade you based on how you played. And now for Cavaliers fans, with Love injured, I think the Cavaliers... Once the playoffs start, man, I feel like they're going to just take it to another gear, in my opinion. I think they're going to, like, destroy the first couple of opponents, especially the first round, because LeBron is going to be waiting. He's going to come with a revenge. And right now, they're sitting as the third seed with 29 wins. Toronto and Boston are ahead of them. They have home court advantage. And in the second round... They might run into Boston. Shit. Man. This is LeBron's wet dream right here. Running into Kyrie before he even gets to the conference finals. Man. She's going to be a breezy in the playoffs. But. But. The future of the franchise. Trade deadline is coming up. What are the Cavs going to do? Are they going to trade love? <laughs> Are they going to trade Isaiah Thomas? That would be cool, man. 
that would be crazy especially with lebron you know everybody saying that he's gonna leave the cavaliers where is he gonna go like whatever man we leave lebron alone but as I see it right now, the Kevin Love injury is going to hurt the Cavaliers offensively. It is going to improve them defensively. Um, it's going to improve the rotation in the minutes. Because it seems like whenever they have an injury or somebody leaves who's defensive liability, they seem to get better. When their Rose went out along with, um, and Isaiah was still out, they went on that run when they won like 18 they, they were like on a winning streak. It wasn't 18 games in a row, but like they won like 13 games in a row, I think. That winning streak they had. And they were playing out of their minds. And now they have Kevin Lovers out. So, how is it going to be like? They played earlier today and they lost to the Detroit Pistons. After they traded away their, you know, some of their players. And Blake wasn't even there. And that was the game Kevin Love got hurt in, so they, we'll see what the team looks like without Kevin Love. But that's pretty much it for me, man. I think the Cavaliers have a shot to make it to the finals. If I had to pick between them and the Celtics, I think the Celtics are a better basketball team. They're well coached. But the Cavaliers, man, they have that gear that they go into in the postseason. We've seen it in the past three years. Like, let's not pretend like this is not the same team that struggles every January and that comes to the postseason and sweeps all the you know first rounds that they've had it is what it is man I right now it's a coin coin toss between Boston and Cleveland I'm leaning towards more Boston even though I'm a Boston hater hey and John Wall just went out he had a, he has a knee surgery to clean out his knee. And another all-star slot opened up, so we'll see. Gamma Slot 808, man. Rate the video, comment, subscribe. Fuck with you, boy, man. I keep that shit real all the way. I don't care about any of, hold on. I don't want to say I don't care about NBA, but some of these cities, you know, I keep that shit real. I don't like some of these cities at all, especially Boston. So I keep that shit real. Keep that same energy in the comment section, alright? Game of Style 808, I'm out of here, man. Thank you for watching.